In today's video for Alpha Universe, I'm gonna walk you through a extreme live stream setup here at the studio. This is what I'm gonna be using for my B Alpha event that's coming up this weekend. So depending on when you're watching this, it might have already happened. So uh, perhaps when that gets posted up, definitely check it out and you'll see kind of a longer version of what this setup can actually do. But we're gonna kind of get into the nitty gritty, show you guys how you can really up your live stream game. Let's get into it. Welcome back. My name is Miguel Quiles, and I want to show you kind of an unconventional setup for doing live streams. Now, this is going to be something where if you wanted to maybe produce something for um, for a nonprofit, for a church, for a uh, large conference like what I'm going to be doing this weekend for the B Alpha event, uh, you may end up wanting to have additional camera angles and just kind of up the production value. So I want to show you how we are doing that here in my studio using a variety of different Alpha devices. So let's kind of break these things down one by one. Okay, so let's start off with our main camera. Now keep in mind before I get into these individual devices that uh, these are all kind of plug and play. You can adjust or you can add different cameras if you like. Uh, these are just the cameras that I'm using now so that you can see the entire lineup and kind of what each camera would look like. But main camera right now is the Sony FX9. I have that with a 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. So that's this angle that you're seeing right now. We're going to cut over to our secondary angle uh, this is the Sony ZV-1, a uh, small pocket camera. This is on a slider, and it actually has a head on the slider that creates this kind of parallax rotation. So on top of it sliding back and forth, it's also rotating to kind of keep me in the same part of the frame. Really awesome. This is probably my favorite um, B camera setup here because it just looks so great. It's really nice dynamic motion. Um, we're going to switch over to this camera here. So this is kind of cool. This is going to be kind of a, a walk and talk type of camera. So maybe if you are in an environment where you're vlogging or whatever the case might be, uh, this is the Alpha 1 with a 16 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 G Master lens. On top of it, I have a wireless HDMI transmitter. This one is actually made by Hollyland, but um, what's kind of nifty about this setup is that I can get up, I can walk around. It's good for several hundred feet. Um, it is a little heavy for me to be holding this uh, contraption. You guys see the rig here? You know, you'll have strong arms after you're all said and done here, but really cool if you want to walk and talk and kind of have more of a vlog feel for your live streams really easy setup. This is using the uh, battery grip or rather the uh, vlogging grip from Sony, which is really, really handy. So I'm going to set this thing down. And so those are three angles that you have so far. And then of course, if you're doing a Skype or a Zoom call, maybe you have a presentation that you need to show to uh, people on the presentation. So we'll switch over to the laptop view. And here you can see I have Capture One open. Uh, with a variety of images. Of course, you know, you might end up using a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation or whatever the case might be. Um, all of these different camera feeds are all going into a Blackmagic A10 mini uh, box that basically uh, Chewy, which we'll switch over here so you can see the uh, behind the scenes here. So, so there's Chewy behind the scenes. So he's actually uh, controlling all of this madness here. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. There he is. So he's pushing all the buttons, switching from one camera to the next. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how everything is being controlled. He's switching from one camera to the next. I'm giving him audio cues to basically know which camera to switch over to. Uh, but yeah, so we'll switch back to the main camera here. Put that back down. So. Again, uh, really easy camera wise, FX9, uh, ZV1. I've got an alpha one here on the table with that wireless HDMI. Again, you could have all of these be the same device. You could have all ZV1s as a main slider camera and a walk and talk camera. 
Um, if you have multiple inputs, if you have a different device, like we have the Blackmagic A10 Mini, but if you had a different one with more HDMI inputs, you could have theoretically five or six cameras, however many inputs it is that the device will take, you could plug those into the device. As far as audio goes, right above me, I have a Rode NTG3. It's a shotgun mic. Um, audio wise for my B Alpha event, I'm gonna be using a wireless uh, pack to be able to capture the audio. I'm gonna have wireless headphones in as well so that we could talk back and forth and I could hear the people that are on the other end. Uh, but that's it. I mean, it's a lot. I don't know if you guys are like me, I nerd out on stuff like this. Really kind of a, a great setup if you want to kind of up your live streaming game, if you're going to produce content for an event, for again, if you uh, do church productions, this is a very common type of thing that you see and you could do it theoretically on a budget, depending on which alpha devices you end up using. So with that being said, let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. While you're there, make sure you subscribe to Alpha Universe because we have new content releasing every single week. Now, if you want to dive deeper into the world of Alpha, the Alpha Universe, make sure that you click on one of the videos that you see here on the screen. See you there.